Hi, this is Todd Latori from Crimson Glory. Uh, what's the latest news from the band? Well, right now we're focused on finishing these last few shows for the year, and uh, we'll be writing new material. We're continuing to write new material for a new record. Um, that's pretty much it. Just enjoying the 25th anniversary tour and, you know, trying to write the best material for the new album. Uh, how are you going on tour? I saw some videos on YouTube and you're doing great with the old stuff. Thank you. Uh, the touring has been great. Um, I mean, the fans are very receptive to everything that we're doing. And I think that a lot of them are hearing the songs performed the way that they want to hear them performed. You know, and they give great energy, which helps me to sing better. It's just a lot of fun. It's very natural. So it's great. It's going very well. Uh, you became famous in mid-80s with those mysterious uh, images. Are you thinking of bringing the masks back? <laughs> Everybody asks that. <laughs> well, I wear the mask for Lost Reflection. And... You know, the band, we've talked about bringing the masks back. So it would have to be... We wouldn't bring them back as far as a full-time image, but maybe for a special occasion. Um, you know, it would have to be the right environment and the right um, situation for all the band members. We're not opposed to doing that. I mean, we would, but... It would have to be the right circumstances. So far, nobody's really offered or presented that yet, so mm -hmm. you never know. Uh, you released Astronomica album back in 1999. What were Crimson Glory doing until today? You mean after Astronomica? Mm -hmm. Well, as far as I know, the band wasn't really doing much as far as Crimson Glory is concerned. Uh, ben has his own uh, band on the, you know, his own project. It's not a project, it's his band. Uh, Jeff has his own band outside of Crimson Glory. Um, and everyone just focused on their own music and took a break. Um, and then once I met Once I met the band in, in 2009, it was for the memorial concert from Midnight. And uh, that was really the beginning of the band coming back together. So right now, you know, from, from as far as I know, from Astronomica, you know, they did some shows with that. And then they came to Greece, as you know, with Midnight, one time for the Rockwave show. After that, um, the band has done nothing. Um, until now, so now we're back, and, and and everyone's everyone's very excited to everyone's very excited to be um, doing this again. So it just it naturally happened. Mm -hmm. Do you have any new stuff, and when can we expect a new album from Crimson Glory? Well, we do have um, new material. It's not completed. There's still a lot of work to still be done. But we do have um, some rough demo stuff recorded. Um, you know, we still have to find, you know, who wants to, who we want to have produce it, and um, you know where we want to record it. I don't know if we're going to record in the states or if we're going to record over here in Europe. Um, you know, the goal is to try to have it out. Originally, we wanted to have it out by the end of this year, but with the touring, it's taken time away from that, and there's only one 25th anniversary tour, so that was important that we go out and play shows. Uh, so we definitely would like to have it out next year, 2012, um, you know, and then we'll be doing some touring to support the new material, but we'll always be playing the old classics that everybody loves. Of course. Uh, for all this time you're on tour, on tour uh, there's an unavoidable comparison between you and John Midnight. How do you feel about it? Well, I always try to honor and respect Midnight. I never knew him, I never met him, but clearly he was um, you know, a unique individual. His voice is what made this band sound the way that it did even even though you know the music was special and the writing is unique uh, 
you know, any other singer would never sound like him. So I do get compared, and it's not a bad thing because he was a great singer, you know. Um, but I think a lot of the fans also see Todd, you know, they say, well, you, you really sound very similar, but we also hear you in there too, which I think they like. I don't think that the fans want an identical clone singer of Midnight, you know. And because I'm able to sing those songs, you know, the way that I am, it, it makes it easier for the fans to accept me. And then when I start to do my own thing in Crimson Glory, it's easier for them to accept that also. Um, but I don't, I don't get offended if people compare. You know, Midnight had a, an extremely high vocal range, higher than my range, um, naturally. I mean, I'm a much deeper voice singer and speaker um, but I, I don't really mind the comparisons at first they bothered me because I felt like I had a lot of very high expectations of all the fans and it still is that way they expect you know greatness so I don't feel pressure from it I just feel an obligation to give the fans the best that I know how to do and so far everyone has been very very happy Uh, Crimson Glory keep a big number of fans in Greece and many of them are going to see you perform live for the first time. Shall we expect any surprises for tonight's show? We actually have two songs that um, we haven't played on this tour and um, I can't tell you what they are <laughs> but yes we have we have a couple songs that people will be very shocked and surprised to hear. Okay. Uh, what vibes are you taking from live gigs? I, uh, can we say for the return of Crimson Glory? Oh, yes. I mean, you know, the band as a whole is very happy to be playing again. You know, this band was never a full touring band. It was very rare if you got to see Crimson Glory play live. Um, but you know the vibe that I get from all the guys is, is very happy you know we're all like a family and we all have our own differences and ways of thinking but at the end of the day everyone is is happy to be doing this again it doesn't feel like an obligation it feels like something everybody truly wants to do again mm -hmm. and so it's rare for a band 25 years later to still have a fan base like we have and uh and to still have a significant role in heavy metal music. Mm -hmm. The music of Crimson Glory is full of melodic guitar parts. Do you think that nowadays metal music is more focused on brutal and not in the melodic parts? I would completely agree with that. I don't think that... I mean, there are so many different genres of metal. Um, You know, but the progressive metal does still work on the, the melodic stuff and the power metal does. Mm -hmm. But I think that in general, heavy metal has become more guitar riff oriented and tuning very, very low, distortion on bass, which is cool. It has its own thing, but I don't hear a lot of the melodic guitar playing like back then. Too much trigger drums? Yeah, yeah, a lot of drum triggers. I, you know, triggering. I mean, a lot of the a lot of the the death metal drummers that are playing, you know, very very fast double bass, don't have a lot of power, mm -hmm. and so they rely on a trigger. Not all of them, um, but but a lot of the, the the metal drummers that are playing, you know, on the feet have to rely on triggers to get that that power. Um, there are some drummers that don't, but overall, yeah, I think the, that the melodic writing element is not what it should be, in my opinion, mm -hmm. but that's okay. And finally, Todd, do you have any message for your Greek fans? Yeah, I mean, this is my first time to Greece, so it's I love it. I know you all are having severe difficulties here. Um, I feel bad for that, but overall, I mean, the... Everything is beautiful. The people are very friendly. Um, you know, we went out last night, and every you know we had a great time. I think the fans are probably going to be the best fans that I've ever seen. You know, when I've played a lot of places, 
but I know that the Greek fans are the most crazy, <laughs> and uh, especially for Crimson you, Glory. So you will, you will see it tonight. Yeah, I might not even hear myself singing. They're going to be singing so loud. Okay, Todd, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We will enjoy tonight's show. Very good.